Greetings, students. This is for Explore Computers for what we're working on in week four in the classroom. We are introducing a website and program called Scratch. Scratch is an educational website and program that introduces coding. You make simple animations and games with it. It's just introductory coding. And I'll go ahead and show it to you at HTTPS scratch.mit.edu. Yes, that MIT. And here's the starting page. If you already have an account, you can sign in. If you don't have an account, you can join Scratch and create one. This is not a big deal. Um, you don't have to create an account. The advantage of an account is you can save your projects. The, the um, password and username should not be something that you care a lot about. So your 4J username and password, don't use that. Use something not essential. Put it on a scratch paper or binder or post-it note somewhere that your parents would say that's a good place to save a username and password. Uh, whether you create an account or not, let's move on. You create a project with the create button. And it leads you to this page, which has a tutorial. Though some students, when they started it, they didn't see a tutorial. I don't know why not. And what do we do? Well, I'm going to start by getting rid of that sprite and have a fresh start here. And what on earth do we do? Let's go back a little bit, back to our website of Canvas, Canvas website. and. Steps. We will develop Scratch skills and steps. We will follow the steps in this PDF document called Scratch Cards, created by Scratch. And that's it right there. You grab it right there. The PDF is big, 12 megabytes. So be patient with it downloading. I will post it every week, but you only need to look at it once probably. Okay. And let's grab it. Let's look at it. And it's 188 pages long. Too long. But doesn't matter. We're only going to work at the beginning. And it's open-ended. Some students will do a couple tasks a week, and some students will do a couple dozen tasks a week, whatever works best for you. The first project of it is a set of seven cards where you take a name, such as your name, my name, R-O-Y-C-E, whatever, and you get the the letters of your name to do things. Change color, spin, play a sound, dance a letter, things like that. Dancing letter, you know. Okay, so the first trick, color clicker. Uh, every time you press on the letter, it changes color. How to do that? Well, wonderfully, this shows you the steps. It shows you about the sprite. It shows you about making a backdrop and all this stuff. I didn't find letters when I did it on the iPad, but there's an easy workaround. And it teaches you what code to use. There are two pieces of code, and they're two colors. They're color-coded. And try it. We will try it. All right, let's go back, because that's the PDF. Let's go to the website again. Create. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of this sprite and instead put in a letter. So here's the sprite um, icon. I click on it and I want a letter. So I'm going to do the search. And there are too many choices. So many. So I'll type letter. L-E-T-T-E-R. All right. My fur, the first letter of my name, Royce, is R, so I pick R. Da-da! There's R. Put it on the side in case I put more letters. And I can just keep clicking on Sprite and adding more letters. And if I don't want one, trash can. I can get rid of it. Oh, and there's a background. All right, I'll add the background. So there's the background. And let's check it out. I remember it was a boardwalk. There it is, there's boardwalk. Okay, so now I've got a background. Put the letter on the boardwalk. Okay, next one. Well, I remember there was some code. 
And if I look here, there's motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, my blocks. I don't know what all that means yet. And there's this thing down here with a little plus. Hmm, interesting. Okay, events. I remember there was a light orange. Uh, when flag is clicked, oh, there's the flag. When space is pressed, when this sprite is clicked. Oh, I want the sprite. So that letter R, that's the sprite. I know that I'm doing the letter R because that's the, I can select it there. If I had more letters, I could select down here which one I want to program for. So I've got, when it's clicked, it'll do something. And I remember there was a purple, dark purple, looks. Say, think, switch, change size. Change color. Bum, bum. Now, when this sprite is clicked, change color by 25. You could change that number. It doesn't have to be 25. So right now it's green. I click on it and change color. Change color again and again and so on. Every time I press on it, it changes color. And then I could add more letters, how about R-O, let's see. Okay, the letter O. And now I've got a different, a second sprite. I go back to R, or I go to O, and I could do something with O. And what to do with O? Well, at this point, if I've joined Scratch, I could save my project. And I could go back. To scratch cards. Or I could do side by side with split screen. Split screen. Split screen seems like a good idea. Or I could open Scratch in Safari. Opening Scratch in Safari sounds like a really good idea. That way it's separate from this canvas. So the canvas is an app and Safari scratch side by side. So I could always have the canvas app with this guide here. So I did color clicker and then, and that's the, soft, the code I added. Very blocky hands-on code, right? Next is spin, make the letter spin when you click it. Aha, uh -huh. three pieces of code. I get the idea. Okay. so. That's it, and we're under eight minutes. Excellent. Thank you very much.